question is posed by Joseph Siddiqui. He is doing a freelancing work and he's working for an estate company, Ali Basel. He's not fully employed. And he's a handyman who fixes plumbing or things of the apartments. And the apartments on Herba. So is it permitted to work for a company which owns uh, apartments and those apartments on Herba, is it permitted? As far as working in a company, if the core activity of that company is haram, you cannot work for that company. You cannot work for a riba-based bank. You cannot work for an alcoholic company because the core activity is haram. You can't work for a company which owns a gambling den and the main activity is gambling den. But, for example, you're working for a five-star hotel. In the five-star hotel, the sale of alcohol income is maybe 2%, 3%. So can you work at the reception? No problem. If you are working at the reception of a five-star hotel, it's permitted, but you cannot work as a waiter in a restaurant which serves alcohol. Because there you will be forced to serve alcohol. So that five-star hotel may be having a restaurant which serves alcohol. So you can work as a manager or a receptionist of the hotel where the main income is halal, maybe a small percentage is haram. So for the owner of that hotel, it is haram for him to have a restaurant which has alcohol. But for the worker, for him to work as a receptionist or a manager is no problem, as long as he's not directly involved in the alcohol restaurant. Similarly, you as working for a handyman or as an electrician or as a plumber for a real estate company, the main activity of the real estate company is buying and selling property. But it's taking on riba. So if you are working and just repairing an apartment. Is it haram or halal? It's permitted. So tomorrow, if you are a mechanic and suppose a car comes to you for, for repairs, you'll ask the car owner, okay, is your car on riba or not? If the car is on riba, you can very, very repair the car because the main activity, you cannot buy a car on riba. But repairing a car which is on riba is permitted because it's not directly involving in riba. So same way you're repairing a house or electrician or a plumber or a handyman of a house which is taken on repair as permitted. Similarly as you being a mechanic and a, and a car or a motorcycle or a bus comes which is taken on riba, so you can repair it. Your money is halal. Imagine there is a doctor and a robber comes for his treatment. A robber comes and pays money the doctor can take his fees. He cannot take something which is robbed. For example, if he's robbed an item and he gives that item, that's not permitted. But if he's robbed and he's earned a lot of money and if he pays his fees or a person who's owner of a bank, he's sick and he comes to a doctor, a doctor treats him, he takes money. The money is haram for him. But when he pays the doctor for the doctor, he's getting for his halal work. So similarly, if a mechanic of a car takes money or you as a handyman or an electrician or a plumber take money for your halal work it's permitted it's not haram hope that's the question